yeah morning everybody well here we are back in France obviously it's the uh, the middle of June uh, arrived back uh, yesterday and uh, the first jobs I did was to trim the jungle um, all the grass was about uh, three foot high uh, we left round about uh, the end of April I think the following week they had an absolutely enormous thunderstorm and it's never rained since so it hasn't done the grass any good and it hasn't done the plants any good um, but the grass did grow I didn't film uh, streaming that yesterday you've seen me stream it you've seen John stream it you've seen Mick stream it You've seen Colin stream it. You've seen Jim stream it. You've seen Sue stream it. So I think you've had enough of seeing people stream uh, the grass. The only person I think who hasn't streamed it is the mayor. So I may go and have a chat with him, see if he can come over and finish it off for me. But uh, somehow I doubt it. I don't think that's in his uh, job description. But uh, the first job I've got to do is to uh, try and find out where we have a leak in the. Uh, let me show you in the uh, toilet, the jeep toilet ceiling roof. Uh, this roof was put on only a couple of years ago. The old roof didn't leak. Uh, the person who put it on, who shall remain nameless, has now retired and basically doesn't want to know. Uh, I have contacted him quite some time ago. So uh, I know where the leak is. It's just to the left of the skylight. So I'm going to take off the tiles because I have tried to patch it up before. Um, but I'm going to take off the tiles and see if I can find out where the, the hole is because there must be some sort of hole down there. But uh, yeah, that's my first job to get that sorted out. Uh, later, hopefully, when that's done, I'm going to go back into the bedroom and start uh, panelling that wall out. I've done a few jobs on there. Remember that I didn't put any uh, wooden braces in behind uh, the frame. So the, the wall had a bit of flex in it, so I've done that this morning. Didn't film that either, it was a, an half hour job. So that wall's pretty much nice and uh, solid now. So yeah, first job is to uh, get this leaking roof sorted. And then uh, we shall crack on with everything else. Catch you later, cheers. Right, so the leak is to the left of this skylight. It comes in just at the top there, right in the corner. You can see I've uh, put some new cement in, I've put some silicon in there, nothing has worked, it's still coming in. So I'm gonna take this uh, row of tiles out and hopefully find the hole, the gap, whatever's there, and uh, get it sorted. Talk to you later. Well, it's quite obvious that whatever sort of mix was used on here for the concrete just wasn't strong enough. This is just like sand. And I'm guessing that the water is just soaking through the mix and uh, coming into the roof. It's like it's all the way along. And I think the only thing really to do is to take off all the top tiles next to the wall and uh, redo the whole lot so uh, yeah that's what I'm going to do uh, just makes this job a little bit longer probably going to take uh, I don't know two three hours or more so uh, but hopefully that will sort the problem out you, you can just see there's 
there's nothing here holding this together. Complete and utter bodge as far as I'm concerned. And the guy who did it, who was English, I don't know if you watch this channel, but this is rubbish. I'm not a builder. I'm not a roofer. In fact, I've never done a roof of any description before. But even I can tell this is rubbish. So cheers, mate. As I say, I'm no roofer. I've never put a tiled roof on. I've put a um, roofing felt on a shed, and that's about as far as it's ever gone. These boards are wet. You would have thought it would have been better to put some sort of membrane, waterproof membrane down here, even if it's only, I don't know, plastic bags or something, you know, bin liners cut up or whatever. But there's nothing, so these are all wet. So long term, that's not, that's not gonna be a good thing, I don't think. So my plan, and again, not knowing what I'm doing, is I'm going to chisel out all the mortar, whatever you want to call it, sand, from uh, the side of the wall. Uh, and then I'm going to put a, some sort of membrane down here. Um, I don't want to have to go and buy a full roll of uh, roofing felt just for this small area. I mean, we're talking probably a square metre here. So I'll probably see what I've got. Um, anything's going to be better than nothing that's down at the moment and then I'm going to try and key in the uh, tiles into the wall better than what they are now and hopefully that will make it uh, waterproof um, that side doesn't leak and I'm thinking should I leave that side because uh, if it's not broke don't mend it is my uh, theory on that one so yeah, I want to see what I've got. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to get to the far side of this, but I will uh, give it a good clean out. This is all loose as well, the uh, lashing around the side, so I shall uh, put the membrane underneath there, try and tie it into the wall, and hopefully that will solve the problem. Catch you later. I'm not a happy bunny. Okay, so what I found is some uh, refuse sacks not the proper job i suppose but they will uh, certainly be better than what was down there before as you can see this has had uh, water on it uh, which i think is normal for these terracotta tiles you know the water gets through the gaps anyway but if i can just protect it a little bit more and sort the top out you know even if it is with bin bags it's got to be better so it looks like it's going to rain i'd like to get this bit done the top cleared out the bags on here uh, before it does and then uh, I can start doing the cement probably later it's about 11 o'clock now so once I've got this done and if it starts to rain I can have some lunch and then come back later so uh, yeah I'll get on with it cheers Let's hope he made a better job of the strength of this roof uh, than he did of the cementing because I've got to kneel on it. We'll soon find out.
Well, it didn't stop raining for about an hour and a half. Absolutely threw it down just after I'd taken the roof off completely. It's taken about another hour or so to mop it all up. I did manage to control it. It was coming into the kitchen and it was about an inch deep in the uh, toilet. So I did manage to control it where I slowly worked my way back to uh, the toilet area. It's all mopped up now, just wet. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it to dry. Literally two minutes ago, Mark walked in with some stuff for me and said he's got some roofing felt. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna just belt around there and it takes about 10 minutes, get the roofing felt. It stopped raining. In that time, the roof might've dried out a little bit and I'll try and get on uh, once I get back. So catch you later. Well, what an eventful afternoon that's been. <laughs> Managed to get everywhere dry, all the water out in the uh, bathroom, toilet and kitchen. <clears throat> it's stopped raining, it's been sunny now for about an hour. I've been and fetched some uh, roofing felt and the tacks to go with it. So I'm gonna try and put some roofing felt down on here now. What well, my idea is, is this has always been exposed and uh, that doesn't really make sense because the water can get on here and then get into the wood and go into the uh, the bathroom. So I don't know, I don't know whether that was a fault of the guy who put it up or a design fault, I just don't know. I've given up thinking about it to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay roofing felt on here. I'm going to put a strip all the way across so it covers this so any water coming down here will fall onto it and then go down the gullies over the edge into the garden. I'm going to put the uh, felt underneath here and uh, then cement it all in afterwards. I want to get it done now because it might rain again later. It doesn't look like it but it might and uh, I certainly don't have to be putting up with that again. So that's the plan, get the roofing felt on, get the cement on and then uh, start to tile it. Wish me luck. Well, as you can see, it's raining again. I took the camera inside, but I just thought to give you a quick view. I managed to get all of the felt on, at least laying in place. And I will uh, come back out when it stops and fix it down and put the tiles on. That's the plan anyway. Unbelievable. Okay, talk with you soon. Well, as you can hear, it's really uh, coming down again. And uh, so far, so good. No leaks, this is where the main leaks were. Uh, there's one or two up here, but that's because the uh, felt is not... Uh, because the felt's not uh, fixed in yet with the cement, so I'll do that as soon as I can. So I'll come back to you in a while.
Well folks, uh, that's it for today. The job that I thought would take a couple of hours has literally taken all day. But uh, it needed sorting. I mean, I can't have a kitchen and the bathroom and the toilet flooding every time it rains, though it was torrential twice. So I'm going to leave that for tonight. That will go off. I'm going to do around the back and then I'll do down this side uh, sometime tomorrow. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that will make it a little bit more watertight. I uh, found another leak underneath this uh, flashing here and uh, filled all that in. There was a gap about that big between the wood and the cement not being filled in. So I filled all that in and the wood was soaking wet so it showed that the water was getting in there. Um, so yeah, I filled that in so everything should be a little bit more uh, secure. So I will uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers everybody.
Well, I'm calling this finished. Um, I put these three tiles at the top of the skylight, really just for trim. Um, I haven't put any gullies in underneath, and covered by the um, roofing felt, so it should be okay. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit and uh, see how that goes. Uh, it rained a lot last night, absolutely threw it down again. The side that was always leaking didn't. The side that I've just uh, tiled did. So I'm hoping that uh, we've sorted that problem out. It's by one or two more leaks in the house, so now I've got a feeling it's to do with when they had the earth tremor last week because uh, there was a lot of dust and dirt lying around that had been you know, shaken onto the floor. So it might have loosened a few tiles as well. But anyway, I can't do anything about that right now. Um, that is a big job getting up on the roof. But we'll see how this holds up. I'm going to go back now and carry on with the panelling. Catch you later. Cheers. <laughs>